What's up, you guys? Let's fix a DS light. Stay tuned. Check it out. All right, you guys, let's get started. The first thing you want to do when you're starting a project like this, like always, you want to take the battery cover off and you want to pull out the battery before you do anything else. All right, if you look right down here in the bottom right corner, I'm going to post a picture and I'm going to show you all the screws that you need to pull out of the back of the DS Lite system. Next, there's one screw off to the left side of the motherboard here, and then two cables that need to be unplugged. There's a white one and a black one. The black one runs underneath the cartridge reader. Cartridge reader. As you can see here, the ribbon cable on the red DS was ripped clean through. All right. Now we need to walk through that whole process again for this pink DS. Pull out the motherboard and replace it with that motherboard that I just pulled out of the red one. Now that I have both of the motherboards extracted from the DS lights, I can start pulling the rim from both of the screens because I want to keep the pink one on the correct motherboard. So I'm going to switch those out and you'll see all I do is I use my plastic picking tool to easily pull it apart from the screen. And you can see the screen on the one that I'm keeping was quite dirty, so I'm just giving it a quick wipe. All right, that looks really good. I did make a mistake though. I should not have put the rim on the screen quite yet. I should have waited until the end until the game was already all put back together. But I figured this out later. And as you can see, I forgot to put the rubber mat for the start and select buttons in as well. Don't forget that part. Now feeding this black wire back underneath the cartridge reader is probably the hardest part of this project. I did find by finding a wire tie that is thin enough to fit underneath it and I just pushed the wire through with the black wire tie and end up figuring out a way to do that pretty quickly. If you can't get it just take your time it'll make its way through eventually. Try to keep the uh, the plug end of the black wire facing up I found that was the easiest and try to do it closest to the the uh, top part of the charging port okay try to keep it close to that end now we're ready to put the back back onto the DS make sure you put all your buttons and your switches back in place I found with the L and the R buttons putting some tape over them to keep them in place helped keep it a lot easier and I didn't have to hold anything.
there you guys go, a back view of the DS, you can see the tape. And then also, after the tape, all you have left to do is put the back screws back in, the battery, and then try it out. All right, there it is. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you made it this far, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And you guys have a great day. Hope you tune in next week to see the next Fix It Friday.